all that people Bree Slay here aka the beauty plug all that connection to your beautiful hello how are you what's going on some is here i'm about to bring you the tea on the tea on the tea listen i've been promising this video for the longest while and i was like you know what it's time you know so i'm gonna bring you today the body splash dupes for all the niche and designer fragrances and even though i know some people are jacking my content um it's okay you could watch them but it's nothing like my content here on this channel so here it is as promised the niece and designer fragrances um fragrance body splash dupes so we got some bath and body works we got some body shop we have some victoria's secret so you're interested if you're interested in getting all the tea on the tea then um come on now you know what to do. Okay, so I'm not going to do this in any particular order. Um, actually, I will do it in a particular order. I'll start up with niche, then I'll go to some designers, and then I'll go, okay, so we'll do it like that. So I have the fragrances to all of these um, body splash dupes. However, I'm just going to show you the body splashes, and then I'll insert a clip or a photo of the fragrance that I'm referring to. Now, are some of these dead on exact dupes? Yes. Are some of them very similar, similar enough that if you have the fragrance already, you can do a layering combo and combine them together? Absolutely. Okay. But listen, I'm, I'm here and I got you. I got you. Okay. So the first one. Now we're going to do the house of Parfums de Mali. Okay. And you guys know two of the most popping talks about fragrances going on around right now. And they're two of my favorite right um and the first one is delina so delina has rose it has lychee it has all these things and it is delicious and so in my travels i was traveling from one state to another and i was in the airport and i was like let me go make a stop and i realized that they had this body splash and i'm like this reminds me of something and it was pink pepper lychee by the body shop and this gives me delina feels Mm -hmm. It gives me Delina feels. I wear it in a combo together. It gives me Delina. It gives me um, more so Delina than it does Angel Nova. But it gives me Delina feels. And I really, really love and appreciate this. So again, that's Pink Pepper and Lychee by The Body Shop. Then for our next Parfum de Mali um, line. And I just discovered this. Again, I was out of town. And I went into the Bath and Body Works. And I was like, mm, this smells delicious. What is this reminding me of? I get back home, I spray, I'm like, so check out my video on this. Valaya or Valaya, however you want to pronounce it, by Parfums de Mali, has a dupe that I think is a really good dupe for it, if not a good layering combo. And that is Bath, Bath and Body Works Salt Water Breeze. Now, Valaya has notes of white musk some florals and it's just clean and it's clean and sweet and good it's just it's just dope okay i've worn valaya valaya however you want to pronounce it and i've gotten compliments if within a span of 10 minutes i've got three to four compliments like i get complimented every time i wear it so this is definitely i would say a good dupe for it it's by bath and body works it smells great it will layer great with it so again that's salt water breeze by bath and body works Next, so our next set of um, fragrances, I guess, would, I would say niche. I'm gonna talk about um, <clears throat> Killian, and so Killian Angel Shares um, is one that's talked about often. And Angel Share, I would say, is like a fragrance for Thanksgiving. It's a fragrance for a holiday. And when I tell you that fragrance is beast mode, it's beastie, baby. It's giving beast. It's giving apple pie on steroids mixed with a little lux. It's giving delicious. And I know this is not the season for it, but I had to still bring the dupe for it. And so I smell this in Victoria's Secret. And I'm like, no, this don't smell like this. And it does. And that's Victoria's Secret Honey Mist. Victoria's Secret's Honey Mist, it's, you get it in the pink section. To me, smells so much like Angel Share. So if you want to get a dupe for it, if you want to get something that smells similar to it, you want to layer, you want to put it together, 
there she go. Okay. So honey miss, a dupe for angel shares, Killian's angel share. Next. So next we're going to keep it in that family and we're going to go to, so there is a Louis Vuitton fragrance that I love. Atrape Reves, excuse my pronunciation. You see the picture up in the screen. And let me tell you something. When I tell you it smells so good, it's like um, a YSL Mon Paris on steroids. Um, it's just a little, not even on steroids, but it's just a little bit more refined. Um, and that's Dream Bright by Bath & Body Works. This smells identical to it, okay? So if you're looking for a dupe for Louis Vuitton Atrape, Atrape Reves, I believe that's how you pronounce it. You see the picture. Then go get you some Dream Bright by Bath & Body Works. Okay, so the next fragrance we're going to talk about. And this is actually going to be for the house of Zhirzhoff. So Zhirzhoff has two fragrances that's very well talked about. One is Zhirzhoff Herba Pura. And so I found this a little by accident, this kind of dupe, um, trying to figure out a combo. And I feel like this is pretty good. Herba Pura may be a little bit more woodsy if that, maybe not. But that's Winter Cherry Blossom by Bath & Body Works. So this reminds me, puts me in the the mindset of Herba Pura, and it's delicious, okay? So just go get it, smell it, if you can get your hands on it. So a lot of these fragrances, you can still get your hands on. A lot of these body mists, you can still get your hands on. And for those of you who have it in your collection and you just don't know what it reminds you of or you want to layer it, this is a good video for this, okay? So again, that's Winter Cherry Blossom by Bath & Body Works. This is a dupe for Herba Pura by Zhirzhoff. The next dupe. So Zhirzhoff, um, Lyra is well talked about. It's like a lemon pound cake. It's like a sweet gourmand that you can wear in wintertime. I'm sorry, in summertime. It has a lemony, uh, clean, but gourmand scent to it. And I saw this recently in Bath and Body Works. Well, not recently, but when it first came out in Bath and Body Works. And I'm like, mm, this reminds me of that. And it also reminds me of Signature Mont Blanc. And that was lemon ice pound cake. So ice lemon pound cake. Now, you want something a little lemony, you want something a little sweet, you want something a little citrusy, a little nice for summertime, go get you some ice lemon pound cake, okay? So that is a dupe for Zhirzhoff's Lyra or Mont Blanc Signature. Next, we're going to keep this going, okay? So, listen, MFK, all right, Mason Francis Kirk Dijon, okay, is known for his fragrances and... Listen, everybody's trying to find a dupe for it. Now, this first dupe that I'm going to talk about for Baccarat um, is Baccarat, but it's a little fruitier twist on Baccarat, I feel. Um, and that is Into the Stars by Bath & Body Works. So this is Baccarat, maybe more so x -trait. I think that this will pair very well. I think it is a slight dupe for Baccarat. And I think it's just... Phenomenal. Okay, so that's Into the Stars by Bath & Body Works. Next, there is a fragrance by um, MFK that's not really talked about. It's called 724. It may be 728. I don't know. I've gone in and I've smelt it. I have a decant of it. And when I smelt it, I said, this is white t-shirt by Bath & Body Works. Okay? So there's no need to go spend all your coins on that. Go get white t-shirt by Bath & Body Works. And you got MFK's 728 or 724, whatever you want to call it. You see it in the picture, okay? There it is, all right? Next, we're going to go now to Tom Ford. And Tom Ford has... Now, there is three body splashes by Bath & Body Works. That's a replica for Tom Ford. And one of them was tobacco something. And I don't remember the name, but it, was a, it came in the men's department. And it was like a body deodorant spray. And that was a dupe, supposedly, for tobacco, tobacco vanille, vanille. Um, This, however, Soleil Blanc is something that is worn for summertime. It's like a signature staple for summertime for Tom Ford lovers. And Coco Paradise is the dupe for that, okay? If you want Soleil Blanc vibes, if you want Kaylee's Utopia vibes, 
Go get you some Cocoa Paradise. This is still available at Bath & Body Works. Check it out. Next, we have Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So is this a exact dupe for Lost Cherry? Um, I would say it's more so a dupe for, I believe, Electric Cherry. Um, and that is Black Cherry Merlot. Even though Black Cherry Merlot was out way before Electric Cherry came out, I just feel like this gives more vibes of the Electric Cherry. Um, Lost Cherry has a little bit more smokiness to it, whereas Electric Cherry has a little bit more fruitiness to it. So if you like that, pairing this with Black Cherry Merlot by Bath & Body Works is chef's kiss. Next. Next, we're going to go to some other designers. And that is... Kali. Now, when I tell you about this dupe that I found, Kali has recently released a new fragrance and it is called Yum Pistachio Gelato. And go look in my archives. I'll put it at the end of this video of the perfume dupe that I found that smells very similar to it. But when I was recently, again, in Bath and Body Works, I always find these goodies out of state. I smelled this and I'm like, this smells like Yum Pistachio. Even though the top notes are crisp pear, warm breeze, and solar sandalwood, I get the same things that I get from Yum Pistachio. And that is poolside cabana, okay? Come on now, look at it. It's green. What were they trying to do? Tell me. When I tell you this is a dupe for Yum Pistachio, Go on ahead and get it. In fact, you need to go to get you a backup bottle and you need to go get you the splash and you need to go, I mean, sorry, you need to go get you the body wash and you need to go get you the body cream. Because as you know, Yum Pistachio Gelato, as delicious and divine as it smells and it's a great summertime, I think, summertime gourmand, it does not last. So I almost guarantee if you pair it with this, they're going to smell you all day. The next Kaylee fragrance that is talks about is Vanilla 28. Now, Vanilla 28 Everybody tries to say, oh, Bare Vanilla by Victoria's Secret is a dupe for it. And I agree, but I don't agree because I feel like Vanilla 28 has a little bit more depth to it. Now, Victoria's Secret did come out with a version of Vanilla 28, and that is Vanilla 28. I'm, I'm sorry, Bare, Bare Vanilla Lux. Bare Vanilla Lux is a dupe for Vanilla 28. Okay? Bare Vanilla Lux is Vanilla 28. This was the last one. Like I, I, I took the sample. Like I, I took the tester. I did because this is this was it, and I had to have it because I needed to bring it to y'all. You know how long I've been holding on to this? I've been holding on to this since winter time for you guys. Anyway, moving right along. So, Mom Parry. I'm now going to talk about YSL. So, two fragrances by YSL that is very light is Mon Paris by YSL. It has patchouli, it has berries in it. it it's black currant, I believe. It's just dope. Okay, and so Mon Paris YSL. I've been wearing Mon Paris for a while, but even before wearing that, I was wearing this particular body splash and body product from Bath & Body Works. And that was Into the Night. And with smelling this, I'm like, yo, what does Into the Night remind me of? What does it remind me of? Come on, get your life together. And that's exactly what it reminds me of. YSL Mon Paris. Okay, so that's Into the Night. And this is still available. Next, YSL Libre is so talked about. Okay, you want to dupe for it. You want to dupe for the YSL Libre. Go on ahead and go get you some Fairy Tale. Okay, Fairy Tale. That's YSL Libre. That's it. You, you want Libre, Libre Intense, whichever one. This is it. Go and get you some fairy tale. You probably already have it in your collection. Next. This is an oldie but goodie. Gucci Bloom, which I love. Gucci Bloom smells really good on me. A lot of people can't get with it because it has Rangru, Grand Groom, Rang, Ragoon Creeper. Um, and, you know, some people don't like it because it's, too, I believe it has tuberose in it. It's kind of heavy. And so... It just, people either love it or hate so, it. And so, One in a Million is a dupe for Gucci Bloom. I've had this in my collection since it first came out. It's probably no longer available. If you can find it, you then grab it up. If you have it, then you know what you can layer with Gucci Bloom. And this is it. Moving right along. Now, another something from Gucci. Gucci Bamboo. Gucci Bamboo is a fragrance that came out some time ago. And it has a very clean, woody, 
Um, it has a bamboo scent to it. It's just it's just that simple. And so this past sale that they had at, at Bath and Body Works, I, I believe it was in wintertime, um, they came back out with Pink Lily and Bamboo. And Pink Lily and Bamboo is the dupe for Gucci Bamboo. Okay, if you like Gucci Bamboo, you will love this. If you need a layering combo, you got it. This actually lasts pretty long on the skin, on clothes, and it has really good projection and sillage. So again, that is Pink Lily and Bamboo, dupe for Gucci Bamboo. Next, I'm gonna just keep them coming. So we have another dupe that is, if not spot on, and that is Marc Jacobs Perfect. Now, Marc Jacobs Perfect is a perfect, it goes with the name. Like, it's the perfect summertime scent. The Intense you can wear during fall if you want that. I have the Intense. I have the Original. I have the EDT. Love it. And so, this is Bath & Body Works Poppy. And it is the fragrance dupe for Marc Jacobs Perfect. So, if you need Marc Jacobs Perfect, then you need a dupe. You need to lay it. You need something to go with it. Go get this for you, okay? And it lasts, I must say, okay? Next. Next, we have... And I want to make sure... In fact, one moment. Okay, I'm back. So, C. Fiori is a fragrance by Giorgio Armani that is discontinued, but you can find it on FragranceNet.com. Go on there, use coupon code, I believe it's GNPL3, and you get 30%, 37% off. If not, just Google a coupon code and they'll give it to you. But C. Fiori is a very pretty girl scent. It's, I think it's good for all seasons, summer, spring, winter, and fall. I think it thrives very well in the spring months. It thrives very well in the fall months. And I found I, what I say would what I would say would be kind of a dupe for it. Um, and this is a limited edition, so if you have it in your collection, you have it to layer with. If you don't, um, I don't know how you're gonna get it. But it is Victoria's Secrets Ruby Rose. Now, I sprayed Ruby Rose, and I'm like, what does this remind me? What does this remind me of? And it reminds me of C. Fiori. So. That's it. Next. Now, next we have something from Versace. Two from Versace. Now, Versace by Crystal is a fragrance. Absolute is a fragrance that I love. Like, that was my signature summer fragrance for a long, 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 long time. And I always got complimented on it. And I found the dupe for it. And this is another limited edition by Victoria's Secret. They may have it, they may not. And that's Victoria's Secret's Palm El Orange, which is pomegranate and citrus. This, for some reason, and if you know, Versace Bright Crystal has pomegranate in it. I believe so. It. This is it. So if you want a layering combo, there it is. Okay? That's it. The next Versace fragrance is Versace um, Crystal Noir. So Versace Crystal Noir is a coconut dominant fragrance. It has musk in it. It's very sexy. Um, the EDT and the EDP and the Intense, they all smell different. You have to just choose which one goes with you. I feel like the EDT, if it's not the EDT, it probably is the EDT, smells a little bit more mature on me, whereas the EDP smells a little different, but whatever goes with you. But Sunrise Woods is the dupe for it. Next, moving right along. So I would say that this is a dupe for Donna, Valentino Donna Born in Roma. And I have two dupes for them. And Valentino Donna Born in Roma, I adore it. And my thing is, if you like um, that type of scent profile, then you're going to love these two fragrances. One is a little bit older from Bath & Body Works, but it's and it's still available. The other one came out newer for spring. It may still be available. And those are none other than Pure Wonder and Gingham Vibrant by Bath & Body Works. Now, Pure Wonder is such a good layering combo for so many things. Like, you can use this for so many fragrances in your collection, okay? So, I believe a lot of people say that this smells like Donna Born in Roma Valentino. I believe it does a little, but I also believe that this really smells like Donna Valentino Born Aroma because it has black currant in it, and this has blackberries in it and black currant. So I feel like this is a more so a dupe for it. But yeah, all day. This, 
hands down. Next. Next, we have Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Dupe. If you guys were able to get your hands on this collection, then here it is. It came out for a short period of time, and then it just disappeared. And that is called, is it Dahlia? Yes, Dahlia by Bath & Body Works. They do no longer make this. If you have this in your collection, hold on to it. You know, I have a pretty big dent in mine. You guys can't even see. But I have a pretty big dent in mine. I hold on to it as much as I can because this is no longer in stock. They don't make this anymore, so hold on to it. Next, we have, it smells like Rose Garmand by Zara. And Zara Rose Garmand is often compared to what? It's often compared to Mancera's Roses Vanille. And Whipped Rose and Vanilla smells, this is the dupe for it. Look no further. It's right here, okay? You don't have to look any further. You need to look around. Roses Vanilla by Bath & Body Work is the dupe for it. I have two bottles of this because I wasn't playing. I'm not missing out, okay? Next. Now, Ariana Grande Cloud is a fragrance that is compared often to Baccarat Rouge. I feel like it smells a little bit sweeter than Baccarat Rouge. It smells more like the X-Straight version. Um, this next body splash smells like Baccarat, Baccarat Rouge X-Straight, but more so Ariana Grande Cloud. And that is Moonlight Bloom, I'm sorry, Midnight Bloom by Victoria's Secret. When I tell you, the projection, the sillage is amazing. Like, you don't need no perfume. You just need this and some body cream. A lot of Victoria's Secrets are, don't have this. Some do. If you can get your hands on it, get a backup bottle. I got five bottles of this, okay? Because it's giving rich. It's giving Baccarat Rouge. It's giving Ariana Grande Cloud. It's giving all the things. Go get it. Period. Next, we have... A fragrance that comes from the house of Burberry, and that is Burberry Her Edits. I'm sorry, Burberry Her London. I believe it's Her London Dream. Um, and I'll put it up there. And when I smell this splash, I was like, oh my God, this is the dupe. And that is Ginging Him Fresh by Bath and Body Works. If I tell you that these are they sisters, they sisters, like this and this, they're dupes, they're dupes. That's that. So, again, that's Ginging Him Fresh by Bath & Body Works. I have two more for you. Excuse me. And then we're done here. And this one is a dupe for Jimmy Choo's Fever. Jimmy Choo Fever is a sweet, delectable fragrance. And it just smells nice. And a lot of men like this fragrance. Um, and... I've been wearing the Bath and Body Works version to this for the longest while. <laughs> one of my old friends my, used to call it thought. Like, this is the thought one. Well, the thoughts where it is. Whatever. It lasts long. It smells nice. And that is A Thousand Wishes. Now, let me tell you something. A Thousand Wishes. I've been wearing this for a while. I'm like, yo, what does this remind me of? It smells like something, and it's Jimmy Choo Fever. So if you want to do for Jimmy Choo Fever, go get a thousand wishes. This performs well on its own. Go pick it up. And last but definitely not least, everybody in a mama in the fragrance community knows about this fragrance, and it probably was the first fragrance you ever even really started out with, and that is Pink Sugar. Aqualina Pink Sugar. Okay, it, come on, all right? So Aqualina Pink Sugar, it's a sweet cotton candy, just delicious smelling fragrance, okay? And I use this body splash on my baby's clothes, okay? I don't spray it on her body, so don't come for me. But on her little jackets and stuff, I spray. That's her signature scent. Yeah, she has a signature scent at a year and a half. And that is Love by Bath & Body Works. Love by Bath & Body Works is, says cotton candy champagne. But let me tell you something. This is a dupe for Aqualina's Pink Sugar. I don't care what no I say. This is a dupe for a dupe for a dupe. Mm -hmm. It's a dupe. It's a dupe. So, I hope you got your pen and paper. I hope you wrote things down. I'm going to put everything down in the description bar. I hope this helped you out. I hope that I was able to come and bring you some layering combos that you could think of and put together. If you are not able to get your hands on the actual fragrance and you want to you want to dupe or you have some things in your collection and you want to know, oh, wait a minute, I have a treasure here that I didn't even know about. Then this is the video that you should have been watching and I hope that this helped I want to thank everyone for your support. 
Thank you to all my subscribers. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Give my videos a thumbs up so that they know that you like my content. YouTube knows that you like my content. Make sure if you're subscribed or if you haven't subscribed and you do subscribe, you press the bell so that it turns gray so you're notified every time I post new content. As always, stay elevated, stay beautiful, stay humble, and come on now, stay blessed. Yeah.